Here's a quick tutorial on how to make text span columns in Adobe InDesign. So what we're looking at is text that's aligned to the left. What we really want is text to be justified left and then the last line to be aligned left. To do that, what we need to do is select all of our text. So we're gonna press T for the type tool, click in here and press Command A or Control A if you're on Windows. Once you have that selected, you can pull up your paragraph panel. Looks like this guy right here. It's also probably in your properties panel over here. Now I just accidentally increased a lot of line spacing there. I didn't mean to do that. But if we have all our text selected, we can look in here and this guy right here is justify left with the last line aligned left, which means the last line doesn't go all the way across, which is fine. So once we do that, we get this straight line down the edge of our text box. So the rag that we had before is not there anymore, right? It spans the text across the entire column. Now this does this by increasing spacing between the gaps in the words to fit it. So if you have more narrow columns, it doesn't look as good. A little bit wider columns, smaller font size looks better. And so that's how to make your text span across columns. Just make sure your text box is the size of your column and then use that justification up here. Now, if we were to use this justify all, it's going to justify every single line all the way across, which is gonna create some pretty wide gaps in your text. That's why I recommend you use this justify to the left and, or well, it's justify and then it's align left on the last line. That way it looks a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit more symmetrical and maybe fits your design style better. We used to do this all the time back in my old job. Nowadays, I tend to just accept this sort of ragged edge, but if that's not the look that you're going for, then justify is what you need to use.